Women love being wanted and feeling special even when they're not. Let me explain. How many women who do OF say they're on the platform because they need to make money? Countless, and to add insult to injury, they never go ahead and do jobs that most people hate, like doing the dishes, cleaning apartments, plumbing, etc. The bottom line is simple. They choose a path of objectification just for the sake of making money quick. Nothing new under the sun, but somehow they feel special. Women wanted so-called equality, but they ended up infantilizing and victimizing themselves to get more privileges such as ripping off a man during a divorce, using false allegations and getting away with it, etc. Oh, and let's not forget that women never wanted equality to go to war, but rather to vote, have comfy jobs and free air conditioning and coffee, and study male-dominated degrees to beat the patriarchy. Entitlement at its finest. In today's video, we're delving into the topic of why women are not special, why they feel that way, and what contradictions they have in their discourse. I'll also be sharing some personal anecdotes that you'll love. Stick around because I'm sure you're going to love this one. But before we go any further, let me share the comment of the day. Shout out to Crazy Jazz Little Muffin. We are replacing you mostly with peace and quiet. Nagging is nagging, even in a foreign language. Fuck that. Very, very true, my friend. Please don't forget to reach out to us by email to claim your $5. As usual, guys, I'll pick one comment from each video. It may be the funniest, the most liked, or one that touched me. So don't forget to leave a comment, and you may be our next winner. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons too, guys, as it helps a lot. And now, back to the video. I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up and make a statement I don't ever to make this video more entertaining, let's check some articles and reddit posts. The thing is that women wanted to be like men, but it looks like they also want the special treatment of getting saved first in emergencies, quotas to get certain jobs, being spoiled, getting invited to VIP events, not paying on the first date, and all that good stuff. Good for her, but bad for men, of course. Let's check an interesting post titled, There is nothing special about women and they know it. I promise, it's excellent and funny. I quote, Wow, this is the comment of the day, folks. Brought to you from an internet red pillion theoretician level 65 who shared it in one of the many forums dedicated to evil females created by a bunch of guys who supposedly don't give two shits about women. I've said this a million times already, the weaker of two organisms will always seek to control the stronger organism by any means necessary. The stronger organism doesn't seek to control the weaker one because it feels as though it's already in control. After all, it's stronger, right? As for women and manipulation, what most men don't realize though is that it's a con. A woman knows it's a con. Women know there is nothing special about them other than this crazy phenomena of men willing to do anything to screw them. Heck, if I were a woman, I wouldn't understand what the great appeal was about two sacks of fat on my chest and a sloppy wet hot that bleeds once a month and if not taken care of religiously smells like a dead fish. EMOTIONAL DAMAGE! Why? Is yeah. she, in many cases. Most girls want a high value guy without paying the price to be with a high value guy. They just yeah. think, I deserve this type of man and I'm just gonna get it. But it's like, alright, if you get him, you gotta maintain it. And a part of maintaining it is accepting the fact that he's gonna want other girls because you're not as special as you think you are. Yeah. And I think that's the most difficult pill for women to swallow, is that they're not special. Because, quite frankly, since you guys were all little girls, your mom, your dad, everyone around you told you, you're special, you can do anything a man can do, blah 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 blah. But the reality is, is that women really aren't that special. Because the things that you guys bring to the table, a lot of other girls have, which is what beauty and youth and fertility which is why most guys will have sex with most girls versus most women will not have sex with most dudes because the things that god brings to the table are harder to come by women don't think they are the bomb because it's a self-evident fact they believe it because they have drooling men jumping through hoops to get laid this is why a woman's biggest fear and i wish i thought of this when i did a thread on exactly this topic is that a man will one day wake up and realize what the fuck was i thinking there ain't nothing special about this broad uh-oh, the jig is up. 
Trust me, all power that women have is derived from validation from the male world, whether that be in the workplace, dating scene, or the bedroom. Women are extremely manipulative. They do use their bodies to manipulate you, and yet the only power they ever have is your desire for them. This is also why it's very rare that a woman will bluntly ask a man out. Instead, she will basically spread her legs and show him her pussy, but she won't actually ask, because she needs to know that he wants her. If she asks, then even if he says yes, it's not a clear-cut sign he wants her, just that he's up for going out sometime. But if he asks her, well, it's clear he has at least some interest in her, which then comforts her that her traditional bag of tricks will likely be effective in relating to this new man. Anyway, the thing I keep impressing on guys is that women are nowhere near as powerful or self-confident as you think, and what balls they do have is a function of their status and position and the male world. So a woman with lots of male attention will be pretty ballsy and get right in a man's face. She's manipulated so many men that she no longer fears men and figures she can push them all around whenever she wants. But even those women, even the HB10s, when they come face to face with a man who doesn't take shit from anyone. They either back right down or they lose total control and explode in hysterics. So to all men, stop handing your power over to women. They can't manipulate you if you don't let them. Bravo, dude. Bravo. LOL. Seriously though, women know it. These internet gangsters need to stop acting like they're fucking mind readers when they're not. Jesus. And enough with the projection already. Look, women feel special just because they have titties, pussy, and other physical attributes. Their environments have convinced them to believe that they're special and unique just for being who they are, and not because of what they do. That's the key of the matter. Women do not need much to get men, whereas men do need to do a lot to get women. A woman can attract men with her body, but a man has to do a lot more. If you're a man, for any man in this room, if I was to sit here and break down a woman. So, for example, I would say she's she's very, very caring. She loves her career. Yeah. Right. She's very, very driven. She's got loads of friends around her that love and respect her. Her family adores her. Pieces. Highly educated. What is every single man in this room thinking right now? If I was to describe a woman and start off and purely mm -hmm. lay out those um, attributes or traits yeah. or her history, oh. right? Yeah. What what for any guy in here or any guy listening, what question do you have in mind? What's the first question you have? What does she look like? Thank you very much, right? In other words, men do not care about a woman's successes or money for that matter. They care about looks. So if a chick brags about her money or even a waiting list slash roster of men, men are not impressed by it. Unless they're simps, of course. Let me share an anecdote that clearly describes why women feel special, even if they're not. A few years ago, I was at a networking event, and there I met a bunch of people, including ambitious women who wanted to improve their careers. Later, we went to a bar, and we all started talking about ourselves. At some point, we happened to talk about our relationship statuses, and yeah, the women were in a relationship. When talking to them about this topic and bringing up the idea that women test men all the time, they all said, But I don't do it. I never test a man when I'm getting to know him plain bullshit on their end. Other girls were in a smaller group with some guys and they started talking about various clubs in the city. They mentioned how wild people get and the questionable activities like hookups. I expressed my discomfort, stating that a club is the most carnal place on earth and I wouldn't feel comfortable if my girlfriend went there, knowing that other intoxicated men would approach her. The woman replied, saying that she has never been approached. I couldn't help but think, oh, Ma'am, you're an exception. You're very special. Ironically, of course. Women acting holy, you know how it is. And they even go out to the club when they've got a man back home. She also said that she had her time of going to the club to get men and male attention for that matter, but now that time is over. Yeah, a likely story. As if she was a good catch now that she wants to redeem herself, just like... This girl. What's your body count? Um, 50, but when I'm done with porn, I will reclaim my virginity and go from there. Wait, <laughs> wait yeah, right. <clears throat> yeah. 50? 50. But then what? when you quit porn, you're... Yeah, wait, I'll wait. go back to zero. So you'll be a born again virgin? Yeah. How many really bodies do you think you'll have by the time you retire? Mm, by 25, probably like 300. Yeah. What do you think it's going to do to your pure bodies? Uh, 
Yeah. <laughs> you want to have a successful I mean, marriage? I, I do, yeah. But in all honesty, I feel like I have emotional intelligence. So I feel like at the point where I'm ready to settle down with someone I don't think who I've been with in the past is going to really affect that for me. I wonder how many women say the same thing in the I wonder. What if something bad happened to me? I was like, I told you I was trying to call my ride. Are you an adult? You're like, you gotta hold go, on. you gotta go. No, yo, hold on. Are I you am. an adult? Yes or no? I am. Did you choose how much that you wanted to drink? Yes or no? Absolutely, okay, yes. Okay, so then you come, you get what comes with it. I'm not your father. I'm not your boyfriend. I completely understand. I am not responsible for you. We have a platform here. You were delaying the show. So I said, get out. You took your time. I said, take your phone. Take your shoes, go do it outside because we got to get back to the show. I thought that was extremely rude. I wasn't being rude to you. I didn't cuss at you. I was like, let me just call my right. That's literally you can all call it I, downstairs. I said. You can call downstairs. You don't have to call in here. I'm not going to sit here unless you sit in an apartment and make a phone call unsupervised. I'm going to make sure you leave. I told you where the elevator was. You go downstairs. It's a public lobby. You're perfectly safe down there. Make your phone call there. You don't got to do it here. You're not entitled to special treatment. Last I didn't time say I, checked, I was entitled. That's what you're asking for, though. Last like, time I checked, men and women are equal. You made your decisions. We're not equal. I don't agree with that statement, so. <laughs> got him. We fucking got him. <laughs> She's not used to men who don't simp for them, and this is the mind process many women go through. They want it to be equal. Okay, go ahead and enroll in the military, get no special treatment, and all of that. Suddenly, they'll want their privileges back. But before we end this video, let me show you some parts of another article that explains why women are not special. Infantilizing. This reinforces the idea that women are vulnerable and need to be taken care of by a man. You can feel the paternalism in her post. What she looks for in a man is someone to baby her and build her up to treat her like a little cuddly pet. It is not based on reciprocity, on two adults supporting each other's dreams and desires, but on an unbalanced dynamic where a paternal figure protects an infantilized woman from the world and her own self. We sometimes forget that sexism is isn't always nasty or done with a bad intention, there is a whole section of sexist behavior which on the surface is friendly, kind and done with good intention, but has a negative impact because of its paternalistic undercurrent. It can be telling a little girl how pretty she looks, telling a woman that she shouldn't be in a certain place at a certain time because it isn't safe for her, preventing your daughter from doing certain things that you let your son do in order to protect her, holding the door for a woman at work, using the expression, lay ladies first, a man insisting that he pay for dinner, etc. Essentializing. The idea of women as special is also problematic because it reduces us to a fictional definition of womanhood. Some imaginary essence that is reductive. Our being special is reliant on us maintaining those feminine qualities, being pretty, sweet, young, pleasant. Think of how some guys are only respectful to women they find attractive and basically act like all other women are invisible, linking women's specialness to their ability to play by society's rule of femininity is dangerous and dehumanizing. The traditional worshipping of women came at the cost of their freedoms. To protect the purity of Victorian women, they were kept inside. They were protected like objects and rare gems, and there's very little joy in being treated like jewelry. Let's remember that, in traditional wedding vows, the wife is cherished and in exchange, the husband is obeyed. But yeah, now women want to get married, but don't want to obey a husband's simple requests like not dressing provocatively or cooking a certain dish. All in all, women are not special, especially now that they want to be equal to men. When women couldn't vote, we couldn't even vote and sh At the end of the day, if Thank a woman you. really wanted to do everything that men were doing... You do realize that women didn't want to vote before, though, right? Huh? Yes. Oh, oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, I didn't know that. I didn't did know you? that, but I know the women now. We okay. be on that yes. shit. Yes. Uh, so. For a big part, for a, a large portion of history, women actually did not want to vote. You want to know why? Because voting came with <laughs> came with <sighs> responsibility. They had to volunteer to be involved in firefighting, military, etc. So a lot of women didn't want to vote because they didn't want to have responsibility. They're like merch. I think we should be more involved. I mean, how you feel versus what is real are two different things. Women just didn't want responsibility. Yeah. And I would argue in today's day and age where women are the most liberated, they still don't want responsibility Facts. because they're still not entering the workforce yep. at the same level and the jobs that create infrastructure. Stay strong, guys. As always, I wish you tremendous success. Now it's your turn. What do you think? Will women ever realize they're not special just for having tits and a pussy? And will they ever want true equality, or rather the set of privileges they enjoy today? 
Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Remember that if you leave the best comment, you will get five bucks. Thank you so much for watching. If you found value in this video, hit the like and subscribe buttons, ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads, drop a comment, and share it. See you in the next video, guys. Till next time.